So what I'm going to show you here is the program that comes with the transducer and that is called transducer control. I have it on this uh, computer here and basically it, it is a display panel showing torque, speed, and power and it has certain peak detects in it and it also has a temperature display. Now you remember I was talking about the two transducer elements and how they're mixed together. <clears throat> the difference of the two frequencies, the two um, resonators, is, is used for the torque value. The speed is com comes from an encoder, but there's another parameter inside the transducer that's very important, and that is actually the shaft temperature. And the, the sum of the two frequencies is used for the temperature reading. And the temperature reading is right here, and it's in three parts. There's the shaft, the ambient temperature, and the electronics. And I have a little transducer. Um, it's actually a 10 newton meter transducer hooked up to a small electric motor. And we can um, run that thing up to about 2,500 RPM just as a, as a demo. But <clears throat> I wanted to demonstrate here that we have um, on this oscilloscope, we have a torque and a speed uh, line going here. Unfortunately, there's really no torque that you can see because I've just got the electric motor spinning the transducer, but we can certainly run the speed up for you. You can see the analog output here of a speed. Actually read it over here at, at roughly 2500 RPM. So that's that's a quick demonstration on that, is that both things are available at the same time. I read a peak speed of 2514 on the digital display. Um, this transducer control program also has another window over here to the right, which allows you to scale and set up both channel 1 torque and channel 2 speed right there. And there's the analog setup tab, and there's also the digital setup here for filters and miscellaneous and links right here. Filters are, are something that is important because you, you may want to introduce a time constant into either the speed or the torque and or depending on what your, your application is, is and how it's performing. Um, usually the lower the numbers the better. But at any rate, I just wanted to introduce you to the, the software that comes with the transducer at no extra charge, which is called transducer control. So in a moment, we'll get on to the optional at extra cost software, which is called TorqueView.